Привіт, привіт, my dear Ukrainian language lovers. My name is Ina and welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. In this video I would like to give you some tips how to practice speaking Ukrainian with native. But before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and leave your comments about it. So, поїхали! Let's get it started! My dear students, I know that when you start learning Ukrainian language, you want to start speaking in it immediately, but uh, you feel uh, this very uh, challenging barrier and it is so difficult to feel the language. It is so difficult to understand native speakers. I know it very well because I had the same uh, challenge when I uh, learned English and when I start uh, when I started um, uh, teaching Ukrainian at the foreign one uh, the um, conversations with native speakers of English um, helped me so much so I'm sure that if you start uh, practicing speaking Ukrainian with natives it will help you a lot but how to do it correctly let me give you some tips so, first of all, you need to find a native speaker. You can ask me, where? How? <laughs> it's not so difficult, believe me. So, um, you can find native speakers in your country or city uh, right now, because there are a lot of uh, refugees um, from Ukraine and they are everywhere in Europe, in uh, uh, Canada, in America, in Australia, etc. So you can uh, find them with the help of different Facebook groups like Ukrainians in Brooklyn or Ukrainians in California or for example Ukrainians in London. Please search for this kind of groups or diaspora and write their message. Hello, my name is John. Um, I learn Ukrainian and I'm looking for a Ukrainian who wants to uh, practice English uh, with me and um, in your turn I would like you to help me to practice my Ukrainian so it will be like win-win um, deal uh, uh, so um, you can find a real um, native speaker of Ukrainian uh, in your uh, city or country now. If uh, it's not possible for you, then you can find a native speaker online. And uh, how to do it? So you can just uh, write in Google um, like language partner websites and there you will find the list of different websites where you can register for free and then you uh, right there, I speak English. I'm looking for Ukrainian language partner and there you can find many Ukrainians and then you can practice with them uh, to... Um, uh, again, it's like win-win deal, yes? So you help this person to practice English and there are so many Ukrainians that want to learn English who wants to speak English but they have again this a language barrier and um, then uh, this native speaker of Ukrainian will help you with um, Ukrainian but uh, I tried this uh, language partners websites and um, they didn't work out for me well uh, it is very difficult to uh, find um, a person who will be serious who won't miss your calls who will really help you to um, improve your uh, level of language but I would like to um, recommend you to set um, to set the rules for this person so first of all you can agree Tom, for example you say uh, hello um, Svetlano so um, let's have a common practice and uh, let's have some rules um, like uh, let's first of all speak five minutes only Ukrainians and then in Ukrainian I'm sorry and then we will speak only five minutes in English let's start with this uh, basic practice uh, and 
you agree. Svetlana, when we speak five minutes only in Ukrainian, please don't um, say any English word, even if I won't understand in something. Please uh, don't translate it into English. Let's just have this five minute only Ukrainian. I want to be immersed in the language fully. And please correct my mistakes if I don't pronounce something correctly. And then you say, okay, now the time is over and now Svetlana we will speak five minutes only in English. And uh, I will speak only in English and I will correct you if you mispronounce a word or if you, I don't know, make a mistake like grammar mistake, etc. So it is very important. As I said, start with five minutes speech um, for each topic. Uh, and then when you feel confident to speak five minutes in Ukrainian, then you can expand this time slot for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, etc. And then you will be able to speak for one hour in Ukrainian and feel confident. Yes, it is possible. I had um, students who uh, were fluent in Ukrainian and we spoke one hour only in Ukrainian. Okay, um, the next uh, tip from me is make vocabulary list and uh, like you can you can uh, pick up like 10 basic topics, for example. Okay, we can uh, practice um, to speak about like how to introduce yourself, to talk about your family, to talk about your job, to talk about your hobbies, uh, to talk about Ukraine, for example. Uh, make uh, the list of um, basic topics and then for each topic make vocabulary list that you are going to use during this practice. For example, you take the topic family, uh, make a vocabulary list, there will be like uh, Ukrainian and English word, for example, family, семья, um, father, батько or tato, tato is like that. And then uh, when you speak in Ukrainian, you use only Ukrainian words for practice. Uh, when you speak in English, you use English words. Or you can ask me, okay, it's difficult just to have um, a, a, a conversation even for five minutes. What uh, should I tell? My vocabulary is so little. So you can just um, ask questions each other. For example, семья. Ты маєш семью? Do you have a family? And the speaker replies, yes, I do. Там, наприклад, так, я маю. Yes, it's only Ukrainian. Ти маєш сім'ю? Так, я маю. У тебе велика чи маленька сім'я? У мене маленька сім'я. Ти маєш, наприклад, чоловіка або дружину? Так, я маю. Наприклад, and so on. У тебе є брат чи сестра? Так, у мене є брат. Mm, а як його звати? Його звати Андрій, etc. So just ask questions. Ask questions each other using their vocabulary. Uh, and also the tip. Ask to correct your mistakes, any mistakes. Grammar mistake, um, vocabulary, maybe you make some mistakes with the vocabulary, you, um, you use the wrong uh, meaning of the word, or you, uh, you mispronounce the word. So please, it's important. And the last tip is increase the difficulty of level. So when you go through the 10 basic topics, then you can pick up some other 10 topics, like then you can talk about maybe uh, politics, if it is interesting for you, about some discussing some movies, some uh, Ukrainian music, music, Ukrainian traditions, etc. So, um, so you can try it and it will be very um, useful for you. Or you have, for example, a Ukrainian uh, cousin, you have Ukrainian here, a boyfriend, girlfriend, you can also uh, ask them to be your language partner. Yeah? So if you don't have a Ukrainian relative, friend uh, uh, or 
boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, um, grandma, aunt, etc., then you can find any Ukrainian online. Or you can uh, just have a teacher who will help you to practice Ukrainian language correctly. So, as I said, um, the practice uh, English with a language partner didn't work out for me because the language partner was um, uh, usually they were lazy or they didn't correct me or they didn't know how to manage this uh, practice or they were late or they didn't consider it as the serious something so therefore I just hired a teacher native um, speaker even right now i have lessons with the native speaker i have an english teacher from um, from the united states so um, if you want to have um, a teacher a ukrainian professional native teacher then welcome to my uh, website speaky.com and there in the section uh, ukrainian lessons you can book a trial lesson just one dollar and also um, we uh, have another um, kind of option for you uh, students who take my course from absolute beginner to a confident speaker they additionally to the course they have an option to have 20 minute speaking lessons um, so you can also book a package of uh, 10 lessons uh, and uh, one lesson last 20 minutes and you will have this uh, speaking practice with a native speaker also you can uh, get this option at the website of my course and the, this uh, web page so all information you can find the description of this video so guys subscribe to my instagram account speak ukrainian language support me on patreon thank you so much for your donations uh, to my channel and to Ukrainian armed forces because uh, thanks to them I'm alive and I'm recording this video for you right now uh, so um, yeah and support my charity project buy a t-shirt save Ukrainian life I hope these tips were very useful for you if you want to add your tips please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section дуже дякую thank you so much your teacher Ina and Slava Ukraini